I'm not going to start a discussion about the use of electric buses now, but the fact is that more electric buses arrive in Moscow today than in any city in Europe. About 1,100 electric buses manufactured by two companies, Kamaz and Liaz run daily on the routes of the capital of Russia. The success of the project to switch to electric buses in Moscow will directly contribute to improving the efficiency of all urban transport in Russia. Therefore, this project is very important. I want to tell you about the important details of the project for the transition of Moscow to electric buses. In order for the project to be successfully implemented, the city has created, firstly, special fleets for electric buses, and secondly, its own electric bus production. Where, how and in what way? That's what I'll tell you about. But before I want to tell you what electric buses sound on the streets of Moscow today, mostly these are electric buses manufactured by Kamas. They are now the majority in Moscow. And in the new super contract, 1,200 new electric buses will appear in Moscow by the end of 2024, and exactly 1,000 will be under the Kamas brand. But these are not the Kamaz electric buses that have been delivered to Moscow for the past few years. Although their appearance was already established, but still it gradually changed. In the course of the modernization carried out in 2022, delivered to Moscow for Kamaz electric buses, the range has increased from 60 to 90 kilometers. They made separate climate control in the cockpit and in the passenger compartment. The designs of electric buses no longer used diesel-powered interior heaters, they became electric. Thus, modern Kamaz electric buses now fully take into account the point of view of ecology. In addition, in order to mitigate Western sanctions, designers in the shortest possible time had to deal with total import substitution. Before importing components from Western countries, start production in Russia or start importing from friendly countries. What kind of country is this? Guess for yourself. There are no more known ZF portal bridges with electric motor connectors in Kamaz electric buses. Important problem. Electric buses, which by the end of 2024 will be about 2,300 in Moscow, need to be stored and serviced somewhere. Bus and trolleybus fleets are by and large not suitable for this. Therefore, Moscow began to build specialized electric bus fleets. The first of them was introduced to work about a year ago, and the second is more recent, in July. It received its own name Mytino, this is the name of the urban area in which it is located. This large fleet of 9.5 hectares has parking spaces for 300 electric buses. To recharge them with electricity, a whole forest of 210 chargers was erected, and a service infrastructure was also created. Electric buses will be serviced and repaired on the territory of this fleet. To this end, to build a separate building in which daily maintenance after the flight and repairs of any degree of complexity are carried out. Moreover, the repairs are carried out by specialists from the Kamaz company, with which a life cycle contract has been concluded. The Mytino fleet will be fully equipped with electric buses by the end of 2024. By this time, the number of employees working in it has 550 people. This is without taking into account the repair specialists who work at the Kamaz Enterprise. Now a story about the production of electric buses in Moscow. Kamaz manufactures its electric buses at a plant in the city of Nevkomsk. But now another factory has begun to produce them. It is called Svars and is located right on the territory of Moscow. This plant produces part of the electric buses, which then operate on the streets of the Russian capital. The name Svars is an abbreviation of the name Sokolniki Car Repair and Construction Plant. This plant was built a very long time ago, more than a hundred years ago. He produced his first product in 1905, and all the activities of this plant have always been associated with the repair and production of urban electric transport. Since 1930, Svars began not only repairing, but also producing tram cars, and since 1934, also trolleybuses. In 1959, the plant began production of unique trolleybuses, which were called Svars DS. It was not only the first two-section articulated trolleybus in the Soviet Union, but also the first model among buses and trolleybuses with four axles. In addition, from 1960 to 1070, Svars produced cargo trolleybuses known throughout the country under the designation TG. 
manufacture commas electric buses. They are produced, or rather, assembled in a workshop that began work in the spring of 2021. There are two parallel assembly lines. Each has four assembly posts. From Neftkomsk to Moscow, a so-called glider is brought by road train, an empty body with wheels, but without an engine, batteries and other equipment. After a preliminary wash, the future electric bus gets to the first post where battery modules, electrical converters, switching blocks and a current collector are mounted on its roof. Electrical wires are laid, handrails are mounted in the cabin, side rear view mirrors and the front hood are attached. At the second post in the cabin, seats and glass railings are mounted, a video surveillance system and outdoor lighting equipment are installed. At the third post, the electric bus will be equipped with an automated fare control system, a Wi-Fi system, air ducts and an interior lighting system. And the fourth post is responsible for branding the body and adjusting the all-round video cameras. But this is not the end of production. At a separate post, the headlights and wheel alignment of the already finished electric bus are adjusted, as well as the serviceability of the brake system is checked on special rotating drums built into the floor. After that the electric bus goes to a rain chamber located in the same workshop, where the body is checked for leaks for 20 minutes, dousing it with dense streams of water. And the final stage is acceptance by the customer, after which the electric bus can go on the route to carry passengers. The assembly shop of the Svars plant produces two electric buses per day. It takes about two days to complete all technological operations and accept the finished electric bus. The assembly of electric buses employs two teams of 15 people each. In conclusion, I once again focus on the fact that no matter how strange it may seem, there are more electric buses in Moscow today than in any European city.